Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we're back with a <coughs> unboxing. This is a beast of an unboxing. Why? I don't know. I don't remember what I ordered. Either way, this unboxing comes to us from Craftably. Now, Craftably is another one of those sites that has licensed artists, and I just learned some new things about Craftably. They're upgrading, y'all. They're upgrading on me, and I didn't know these things, okay? So, Craftably donates so much to something. Every time you make a purchase, they, they like, plant a tree or something. So, um, I was like, oh, well, that's super cool. So, uh, yeah. So, they're doing a lot of environmentally friendly things over at Craftably. One of them being that you can opt out of your toolkit. Now, this is the first time, now I'm, I'm not sure if they're the first company to do it, but this is the first time I've known them to do this or any company to do this where you can actually opt out of getting your toolkit. Now, I do and will say this. If you are a new diamond painter, do not opt out of getting your toolkit because until you get yourself like an actual like uh, acrylic pen or something or whatever, you're gonna want the toolkit. Most of us that are experienced diamond painters don't need the toolkit, so this is a way to save trash for us or to save space in our house because we error, all of us have a drawer that's just covered in toolkits. Either way, safety first. So I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. So let's take a look and see what we got. Whoa, we got a, we got a couple of them. We got a couple of them. All right, so one of them I can't show you. <laughs> we'll talk about that one later. But these two, these two my pajamas are ones that I ordered. Yeah, so I love Craftably's tube. I think it changed, because didn't it just used to say Craftably all over it? Asking for myself. So we're gonna start with the smallest one first. So it is Sweet Isabella. Um, Sweet Isabella is a round. She's a Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Now, if you didn't know, Jasmine Beckett Griffith is not only signed with Craftably, she is also signed with Diamond Art Club. If you see her artwork anywhere else, I'm unaware of that, that they have a license for it, so it's probably stolen. So, don't buy it. Go to a reputable site where it actually look good when you're done and you won't be crying that it looks like garbage. Anyways, so, craftably diamond painting. Look how cute she is. And of course, I had to get this one because uh, it's adorable. So, we're going to go ahead and get into this. So, are you guys having a good day? I'm having a good day. What are you working on right now? You leave that down in the comment section. So, we're going to open this up. And they got little protective tape on the side. Boop. It's like a Pringle scan. And of course, when you drop it out, there is no toolkit. So, oh, look at that. So they're in baggies already. It's rest to go. Yes. I credibly was just like, look, listen, this is time for diamond painting, not playing with all your stuff. So, ooh, the, the canvas feels different. It feels a little softer. All right. Oh. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, we get a sticker. Okay, so you get this cool little sticker. It has a start and stop date on it. It is round. It's 11 by 5 by 11.5 by 15.5, which is 29 centimeter, 29 and a half centimeters by 39 and a half centimeters. It is round. So that is a plus. And look, I got two washi tapes. Washi tape. That's it. So this is not a huge kit. Literally, it's not a huge kit. Look at that. This is like a little snack. This is a little, you know, a little in-between projects type of diamond painting. Now, if I was going to slowly work my way into doing two kits at once, I could do this kit and another kit, okay? So, there's that one. And it doesn't look like you'll lose too much detail because you guys already know. The bigger, the better. If you don't know, the bigger, the better. But it actually has really good detail. Like, that's incredible. Look, you can see the butterfly on her head and the butterfly here on her leg. You can make out her facial features and the heart on her head from this uh, candy skull. You can see her wings, the grass at the bottom, which nobody really cares about the grass at the bottom. That just color is just to distract you. But it actually has some pretty decent, like, I'm not going to lie. That's actually really good. How do you have 50 colors? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. That was a little too much. That was, whoo, that was a little, that was, Yeah. Anyway, so it has 50 colors. Good God. So we're going to take a look at some of these colors. Now, I'm not going to take them all out of the bag. They are numbered, so that's a plus. It makes inventory that much easier. Um, I'm not seeing any special diamonds or anything, which is fine. I, can, I, I have plenty of special diamonds that I can use for this. So we're going to take one out. We're going to take a look at the drill quality. 
got this mustard, weird, yellow, green color. All right, so we're going to take a look here. Drill quality looks really good. I'm not seeing any trash or anything like that in there. I'm going to trust craftably that we have all of our diamonds. Craftably, can I trust you to not, like, you know, give me all my diamonds? I trust craftably. They're a good company. Um, they're, they're still a new company. They're based in Texas. And I think they have a store in Texas that you can actually go volunteer at or something. I think I've seen something about that. If I didn't. Please don't go up to Craft of Lee's office, main office, and be like, Miss Coffee says we can volunteer here. And they'd be looking at me funny in the face the next time I talk to them. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, hold up. We skipped 15. Where did number 15 go? 17, 19, 20, 18. Um, ex ex excuse me. Hello. Oh, there it is. Bam. <laughs> so, I'm just kind of... All right. Yeah, forget it. We're just going to kind of look at the colors that are in here. There's a lot of dark colors in here. This is like golf art but there's a lot of darker colors in there get you down there so as you can see there are a lot of darker colors but there are some lighter ones to set off those darker tones um it is a darker type kit so i don't expect to have like rainbows and unicorns sorry my tripod leg is trying to get on that bubble wrap but i don't want it to pop it in the middle of my video so there is the first kit i got so we're gonna put those drills back in their bag all right, so now that we got that back in the bag, let's take a look at the drill seal. Make sure it's nice and clear. I want it to be clearer than my future. So that looks really, really good, you guys. Yeah, it's got a lot of colors. It's going to be a lot of confetti. It looks like color blocking confetti, which if you don't know what confetti is, it's when you have a patch of a lot of the uh, different colors. Like right here, how it has a patch of a bunch of different uh, sh symbols. That is called confetti. When you have a block like this, of the same color that is called color blocking so if you're new to diamond painting you know a little fyi for you so it does have 50 colors it does have the schematic on both sides at the bottom here it does tell you sweet isabella by ja ba jasmine beckett griffith sorry i'm trying to talk too fast and of course it has their craftably branding at the top i really like that soft canvas that's like a pillow that's that's really soft like you guys mm -hmm. All right, so that is the first kit that I got. So let's snap this one away and pull out that big mamma jamma over there. You ready? All right, so our next one. This one I didn't realize was so big. <laughs> so what is this next one? This next one is called the tree house. It is a round, it's a 59 by 79. I just really like that image. Look at that, that's gorgeous. It's gonna be color blocking or color confetti hell, but Look, she's got like a little squirrel eating off her side over there. It's like Mother Nature, y'all. So we're going to take a look at this kit and see how it is. Have you ever tried Craftably? I've done, I think I've done one Craftably kit. Um, It was a, a flower when they first came out. I did like a rainbow flower when they first came out. And the quality of it was pretty good. So if they're upgrading, I can only imagine that the quality has just gotten that much better. Um, And again, it's another company that uses licensed artists. So no need to worry about whether or not you're buying a stolen image or anything. If that's what you're into, some people don't care. You know, we don't, we're not, yeah. So, there's that. And I did opt out of the toolkit for this one as well. Holy moly. So, we got a bag of baggies. Is that telling me that I got to kit it up myself? Come on, craftably. Don't do this to me. Don't, don't make me do it. <laughs> I'm going to have to kit it up myself. They're like, look, listen, we'll give you the bag. You, you, you're going to have to do it yourself. All right, so let's take a look here. So we have the Treehouse by Sarah Barrier. Burrier. Let's look at the drills over here. Good quality drills. I never had a problem with their drills. And I know that looks mixed to you right now. It's just because of reflection, but I promise you it's not mixed colors. And then they gave us baggies because they were like, look, listen, we don't got time, Miss Coffee. You're going to have to do this one on your own. So we'll, we'll have to suffer through. Oh. <laughs> so let's see how many colors she has, shall we? Holy moly. That's life size. Um, Hold on. I'm trying to roll her up here. And this is pour glue, so you can roll it back or forth to whatever, you know, suits your fancy. So we're going to roll her up here to see... We can flatten her out a little bit so I can give her a, give you a better look at her. Bam. It's like a blanket. Oh, my God. Look how... Whoa. 
Y'all, look, listen. <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Look, listen. I, I feel like I can high five that squirrel. Like, oh my God, this is absolutely gorgeous. This would be gorgeous with green ABs. <laughs> You know where we're going with this one? So, yeah, definitely. So, what I want to do... Alrighty, I, I can tell you what I want to do. I got to get in contact with T-Mall again. Look, she has birds over here. I didn't even notice the birds. Um, And there's a butterfly up there. Like, I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. It's a butterfly. So, this has 53 colors. How do you have three more colors than that tiny image? Like, seriously? Get your life together. Um, So, yeah. What I want to do is I want to contact T-Mall. Actually, I, don't, I might not need to because I still have some white ones. But I want to put uh, some of her quad cubes in the eyes. Because it makes it look more lifelike. Like, after looking at Pride when I was finished with it, it looked more lifelike with the quads than it did with the regular diamonds. So, we're going to get some ABs and sprinkle them throughout. Um, if, you're if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, Tima is the owner of DP with Sparklers. And they have her, their own website. And she sells all kinds of different diamonds and gems and all kinds of stuff. So I will be in contact with her to get some more diamonds for this kit. Yes. So there's lots of green in this image. Lots of natural, neutral tones in this. So I don't think I need to pull this out. But I do want to look at drill field because I'm seeing a lot of things that I didn't notice before. Like the birds. There's birds over here. So, again, that really soft canvas. It's not stiff as you can see. So let's take a look here. Mm-hmm. 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 So it looks like we have a nice clear drill fill. Again, it has 53 colors. And we can take a look at the drill because it doesn't look like there's any, like, I don't see any numbers on the drill. But we're going to take them out and take a look at them. What are you complaining about? You ain't got nothing better to do. You're sitting here watching me. All right. So... There we go. All right. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this... Oh, okay. I see how this goes now. So, they're really light on there. So, it says number 40. So, I'm going to guess number 40 on this bag corresponds with number 40 on the kit, which would be 9... What did I say? 938 would be this one. But I got to find one that I, I know by heart to verify. So, let's see. Let's see if we can find a color. So, you, literally, it's like greens and browns. We got a couple of dark blues for those birds. More greens and browns. More green. By the time I'm done with this kit, I'll be done and sick of green. Lots of greens. Green is one of those colors I actually can't see. So, this actually looks, uh, to me, this would look, what, what color would that be? I think he said it was beige. Beige. Um, I think that's the color Mr. Coffee says I say that all green things look like. Um, I can't remember, and he's not home right now. So, anyways, it, it it looks really good. I love the detail in it. You can see her fingers, the squirrel. There's a y'all. I just noticed this. There's a freaking ladybug on her finger, dude. This is so freaking cool. Yes, it is a lot of greens, but it is a Mother Nature image, so you're going to have a lot of greens. She is absolutely gorgeous, and that heart in the middle of her forehead is going to get some ABs in it as soon as I figure out what exactly it is. You, it's 3705. So I'm either going to do the entire heart in ABs, or I will do the outline of the heart, the darker color right here, which is, what is that? That's like the middle finger. It's going to be 498 and... Oh, no, I lied. It's not a middle finger. It's a, it's a down arrow. Um, let's see. Now, it is a little hard. Pull up. Pull up here. Is this a blank symbol? Okay. All right, get your life together. Let's go. Is this a blank symbol? These two here are really hard to see. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, was there another schematic with this? Or did we not get a schematic with this one? I don't think we did. So, let me look. Hold on. Those two symbols are going to be super hard to see. Let's see. And, yeah, even on the kit itself. I can make out better in the camera than I can with my naked eye. I'm still... 
Oh, that. It looks like a, a triangle without its bottom, but then the other one looks, there we go. It's like little hammers. So, yeah, I'm going to have to contact them about that because I'm not trying to strain and kill my eyes for that dark blue. That hurts real bad. But, yeah, I would outline the heart and ABs. I would probably also outline this butterfly up here and the squirrel. But I absolutely love this image. It just, it was, it called to me when I saw it on the website. Usually I don't go for images like this, but I really, really like this one, y'all. The detail in this is insane. Like, this is going to look pretty badass when it's done. So, if this is a kit that you're interested in, or even Sweet Isabella, um, go over and check out Craftably if you haven't. If you have, what was your experience? Was it good, bad? Let us know all that down in the comment section below. But with that said, folks, I got to get out of here. So, thank you so much for watching. So, I'm going to clean this up quick, and we're going to bring out Sweet Isabella one more time. So, there you have it. We have Sweet Isabella and Treehouse. Um, over at Craftably. Again, if you've never tried this company, they are a pretty good company. I, I myself give them two big old thumbs up. I haven't been dissatisfied with any of the images or anything that I've gotten. Um, I will, this is the first time I've actually had an issue and I know they'll solve it, they'll solve it no problem. So I'm going to go ahead and contact them about those dark blues, see what they can do about that, see what they, they can do in the future about that. An edit will pop up letting you guys know what they say. Um, because by the time I put this, this unboxing up, I would have already talked to them. So with that said, folks, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. With that said, uh, if you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. But with that said, folks, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face, keep your six feet, and always try to be kind, be care courteous, be cool, and always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.